Back to our course in real Chinese, now on BBC Learning Zone, and the penultimate programme concentrates on leisure time and sport. In the new China, well-off Chinese are becoming avid tourists. Seaside resorts are developing fast and accommodation improving. In this program, booking into a hotel at Beidaihe on China's east coast. And how the Chinese spend their leisure time. From martial arts to walking the Great Wall. The Summer Palace, Yi He Yuan, is one of Beijing's most popular playgrounds. Yeah. It's a vast area of lakes, bridges, and pagodas that's totally man made. The Summer Palace used to be the preserve of the imperial court. A century ago, the infamous dowager empress, Cixi, had this marble boat constructed, with funds she should have spent on building up the Chinese navy. The focal point of the park is an imposing Buddhist temple. Every year, the dowager empress would hold her elaborate birthday celebrations here and release 10,000 birds into the sky. From the top of Longevity Hill, the Qing rulers would survey Imperial Navy drills and gaze over their magnificent creation with pride. The Chinese have a fascination with water, especially in the north, where they're used to drought dust and hard winters. Some visitors hire their own boats to hire a boat. I'd like to hire a boat. How long for? For one hour. Nihao,我想租条船。租多长时间？一个小时多少钱？二十块钱。二十块钱，twenty Chinese city dwellers take their leisure seriously. During the Cultural Revolution, dancing wasn't allowed, as it was considered bourgeois. Now people can't get enough of it. In recent years, China's sports lottery has paid for keep-fit areas in local neighborhoods, and they're well used. Table tennis is everywhere, and the Chinese are among the best in the world. Ping pong, qiu. ping pong, zu qiu. soccer. There's a growing passion for it in China. They've introduced a club system, and they've got players on the international scene. Now they're setting their sights on the World Cup. As eating habits change, people are getting taller. And that's good news for basketball. Lanqiu. There are regular matches against the United States and some notable successes from China's Olympic team. To talk about sports you like, say, 我喜欢, 我喜欢篮球, I like basketball. 我喜欢篮球, 足球和田径。我喜欢足球, 
、游泳、乒乓球。呃，我喜欢打乒乓球，嗯，喜欢游泳，嗯、呃，喜欢打篮球。Chinese martial arts 武术 are enjoying a huge revival. During the Cultural Revolution, they were so out of favor they almost disappeared. At Beijing Normal University, the top team are put through their paces. As yet, martial arts aren't represented in the Olympic Games, but the Chinese want to change all that and get them into the 2008 Games in Beijing. Oh, oh! Chinese martial arts, it has very good strength, 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 and 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 strength, 一定是能够为世界人民的身心健康做出他特别应有的特殊的贡献来。Active leisure pursuits are becoming more and more popular with young city dwellers, keen for adventure and a taste of the great outdoors. 徒步走 ，hiking. Not surprisingly, Changcheng is a favorite destination. And there's ample opportunity to enjoy nature. 大自然 nature. 我爱大自然 I love nature. 我喜欢徒步走，我热爱大自然 These are the first generation of young Chinese to have the chance to explore not just their own country but others too. 中国很多地方我都去过。那么我希望呢是能够在我这个在可能的前提之下吧，那么多逛一些或者多多走一些这样的名川大山。那么如果还有机会的话，可以希望能到国外去一些比较好的地方，一些我比较向往的地方，能够去看一下，去体验一下。因为我们是在城市中长大的，像我们这一代人生活越来越好了，那么吃的苦也越来比较少，所以我们就更希望说出来锻炼自己。锻炼也通过这个机会锻炼自己的身体，锻炼自己的意志。中国有一句古话叫“读万卷书，行万里路”。我希望走遍每一个神奇的地方。我相信在天的尽头有我要去的地方。啊，第一个停。不要不要乱唱歌，唱歌没有。Back in the 1950s, the rippling sea at Beidaihe. Was an inspiration to Chairman Mao, a consummate poet as well as a revolutionary. Beidaihe was to become the communist leadership's favorite summer haunt, and today China's government elite have heavily guarded villas and beaches to themselves. Under Mao's leadership. Sanatoria were built in lush surroundings. Here, model workers would be rewarded with a free summer holiday. The oil industry, the railways, banks, and state enterprises all had their own holiday villages. But in the new China, communist reward systems have all but disappeared. State-run industries have less cash to spend. And workers' holidays have to be paid for. To stay in business, sanatoria are now hiring out their facilities to conferences and training schools, as well as taking holidaymakers. Some are even allowing private villas to be built in their grounds. As Beidouhe's tourism has grown, so has the number of luxury hotels. Fan Dian Hotel. The diplomatic mission guest house was originally built by the Chinese government for visiting foreigners. Its colonial-style architecture makes it an attractive place to stay. 有房间吗 ？Do you have rooms available? 今天晚上有房间吗
Do you have rooms tonight? Tonight. How much is it tonight? 500 yuan. Taking a holiday by the sea is a new experience for many Chinese, and largely for economic reasons, it's officially encouraged. China now enjoys two day weekends, longer public holidays, and far more incentives to make money and spend it. For previous generations, such leisure opportunities would have been beyond their wildest dreams. Taking photos. Yoyong. Swimming. Paiqiu. Volleyball. Zuqiu. Football. I like swimming, swimming, In Beidaiha, biking is one of the most popular ways of getting around. To ride a bike. Tandems are the latest trend. They're rented out by the hour. Be prepared for a hefty deposit, though. For an hour, how much is it? We'll hire one. For two hours. The deposit is 400. Oh, Purchase saw, boat trips are a top favorite with Chinese sun seekers. Chuan, boat. What time does the boat leave? At 10 past 9. Literally, 9 hours, 10 minutes. Beidaihe seems well on the way to becoming one of northern China's liveliest seaside resorts. Time will tell if planners and developers have the foresight to preserve its unique character and charm.